Dear Santa, <laughs> this year for Christmas, I would like a pony, a Barbie Playhouse, a Tyco RC Speed Racer 3000, and a blowtorch. Uh, wait, what? Who was that? Hello? Is is anyone there? No. Hello? You there? No. I don't. I don't want a blowtorch. Sorry. Weird. I, I do want a Super Mario 3, uh, the Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants on DVD. A Hello Kitty Pinata would be- And a blowtorch! No. No, I, do, I don't want a blowtorch, I promise you. Hello, who is that? Is anyone there? No, no I don't want a blowtorch. <laughs> Believe me, I, I think I know what I want. You, you can come in if you're not- if you're hiding or something. Yeah. Alright, I do want some new clothes, though. And a gift card to build a bear workshop. And a blowtorch. You definitely want a blowtorch. Why, why? No, I don't want a blowtorch. Why would I want a blowtorch? Seriously, torch? think of all the cool things you can do with a blowtorch. What can you do with a blowtorch? Tell me, honestly, what can you do with a blowtorch? You could light things on fire why with a blowtorch. Why would I want to do that? That's mean. That's really mean. Seriously, no. 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 Not cool. Okay? Not cool. I, I, I would really like, um, I would really like a Sega Dreamcast. Nice call, Santa. We got a whole new season of shows coming up, and we're going to need to capture the viewer audience. We're going to need to find something unique, something new. So I was thinking we should play off the popularity of dating shows. Take a look. From the creators of Illimitate, Next, and The Bachelor, it's Awkward Date. Hey guys. I'm TJ Thompson. Welcome to Awkward Date, the only show on television where we purposely find two completely different people and send them on a date together. Let's check out our latest match, Mark Kendall and Emily Smith. Uh, so, what do you like to do? Oh, wow. I love to hunt. Uh, I'm an avid hunter. Uh, I'm actually going to hunting school and trying to be a poacher right now. Oh. The steak looks great. You should try the steak. It looks it looks amazing. I don't eat steak. Oh, why not? Health reasons? No. I'm a vegetarian. Oh. Awkward. Alright, check this out. So we're nearing the end of the date, right? But before the date, I stole Mark's wallet. Let's see what happens. Ooh. I insist, don't chip in. No, 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 it's alright, it's alright. Here, I'll pay. Here, let me skip out. Oh. What? I think I left my wallet at home. <sighs> okay, fine. I'll pay. No, 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 don't even worry about it. Don't even take out your wallet. Um, 
then what do you think we're gonna do? Sit here all night? Um, good point. Like, I guess, I guess I'll just pay you back. I don't see a chance when you get to pay me back. Oh. Oh, so you don't, you don't want to see me again, I guess. Oh, no, it's just, I... Jake, that was terrible. John, what did you come up with? Well, I've noticed the popularity of reality shows, so this was my idea. From the creators of Laguna Beach, the real world, and the newlyweds, comes a brand new reality show unlike anything you've ever seen. Three guys and a dog in a house. So guys, how are you enjoying the house so far? Yeah, everything's, everything's going alright, um, I think. Except for the dog. I, I cannot live in a house with that dog. I cannot stand that dog. Honest to God, like, I'm getting angry just talking about that dog. I can't stand that dog. I can't believe you did that, Wolfles. You knew I loved her. Yes, it was real love. Look at me. Look at me when I talk to you. Ruffles, I thought I thought we were. I thought we were, we were we were dogs, man. How can you be eating when I'm just trying to talk to you like that? It's incredibly rude, man. Yeah, I was a uh, group leader on the last project, and all that dog did the entire time was undermine my authority. What? You think you could do a better job? I can't stand ruffles. It's just Oh, now what? he's listening. Okay. Okay. Now ruffles. he's listening. Oh, right. Terrible again. Joe, please, what did you come up with? Well, why don't we take Blue's Clues, make it a little bit edgier. You know, maybe appeal to an older audience. This is what I came up with. In the criminal justice system, canine-based offenses are considered especially heinous. In this neighborhood, the man in the green striped sweater and the miscellaneous household objects who investigate these vicious felonies are members of an elite squad known as the Special Victims Unit. These are their stories. Pot and pan, we found this at the scene of the crime. Now you tell me, if you ever want to see your daughter again, stay out of this lamp! If you ever want to see your daughter again, you'll tell me. What could Blue want to do with a shoe? You guys, all these ideas have been terrible. Here, I got one right off the top of my head. Sketch comedy. Sketch comedy, that's that's it? Yeah, that's that's it. So there's no twist? No punchline? That's the beauty of it. There doesn't have to be a twist for it to be funny. So you just show one sketch and just move on to the next? You just move on to the next sketch. <sighs> Alright, look. You're, you're getting beat out there. He's hitting you in the face way too many times. You're better than this. I see three of them out there, Coach. You gotta go for the one in the middle, alright? Hey, this is why we've been training, okay? You gotta hit, you gotta stay in there, alright? You gotta come over here. <clears throat> alright, look. He's too strong, on. coach. He's not too strong. You gotta beat him with quickness. You gotta aim for the ribs. Don't let him. Don't let him breathe. Okay. If there's one second when you're not throwing a punch at him, that's one second wasted. Okay. Now let's get out there and kick him. Let's do it. Get him, Otto. Time's up. Let's do it. Come on, Otto. Come on, you gotta stay in there, man. Come on, you gotta keep taking the in the face, man. Come on, Otto. You guys are taking this way too seriously. What? You really need what? to calm down. What? what? Oh, dude. Look at that girl. That girl is hot. Oh, dude, yeah. She's smoking. Look at that girl. Holy yeah. moly. Oh wow, look at that chick. Oh man! <laughs> that chick is on fire. Oh. 
That's a babe right there. Babe alert. That is a babe. Pretty hot babe. She is en fuego. She is that hot. And that babe is on fire. Wow, she's babe, on fire. Hot. I'm getting sweaty just sitting here. She's smoking hot, not gonna lie. You guys are the worst firefighters I've ever seen. The Ultimate presents How to Mess Up Your Job as Santa. seen those commercials where uh they're just in, like these uh three or four guys riding around in a car and they don't have a regular conversation and uh, all of a sudden they get like hit by another car no i don't i don't think i've seen it yeah it's totally shock value i know what you're talking about yeah they're just like chillaxing and relaxing in their car and stuff you know talking about the weather and then it's just like boom they get hit by a car like where did that come from yeah they're supposed to catch you completely off guard it's just like wham it literally could just happen at any time. What could happen? The car crash. I mean, you could be talking to your friend in the back seat of the car, you know, driving around in Potomac, you know, just just talking, you know, about you know commercials or whatever, and you could be hit by another car. How creepy would that be? Yeah, I know, right? And every single time I watch the commercial, I'm like so deeply engrossed in the commercial that I don't even like know what's coming. Like, I've seen the commercial a million times, but I'm so into what they're talking about, then it's just like, BAM! They wrecked! They wrecked the car! I don't get it! Well, good thing that didn't happen to us, right yep. guys? 